Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour. And in this video, I want to show you about my go-to travel organizing app. It's called TripIt. When we do international travels, we have lots of different flights and different hotel bookings and sometimes boats. TripIt keeps it all in order for us. Let me show you how. First, what is TripIt? Well, it is a website. Just go to tripit.com and take a look. It's also an app for Android devices and for iOS, Apple devices, including the Apple Watch. The basic features are all free. What I'm going to show you today is all free. There is a Tripit Pro that costs $49 a year and gives you more features. There's three ways to add bookings to Tripit. Automatic reading of emails, manual forwarding of emails, and manual entry of the booking. The results are what you see over on the right here, a nicely organized timeline so you know exactly where to be and when. So I'm going to take you to the website first. As soon as you are logged in with your account, you will see your upcoming trips, your past trips, and any unfiled items. So upcoming trips, we are going to Indonesia. And if you just click on the title of that trip, that's how you see the trip summary, exactly when and where to be on what day. I really like that. Then if you click in any one of these plans, you see more details, such as the confirmation number. You never know when you need to know that. If you want to use the automatic method of syncing your emails, all you have to do is go to your account and select the email that you want it to look at and click on Activate Inbox Sync. But don't worry, if you don't want it to be accessing your email, you can forward emails manually. So back in my trip, I'm seeing that we leave from Miami and we go to Istanbul where we have a nine hour layover. Then we go to DPS is Bali and we get there at 7.35 at night and our next flight is seven o'clock in the morning. I think I need to book a hotel room for this night. And I did a little bit of research and I ended up finding what I wanted using Expedia. Expedia then sent me this email to confirm my travel for February 12, a booking at a hotel in Bali. All I have to do then is forward this email to a special address and that is plans at tripit.com. It knows where to put it because of the email address that it's coming from. And I click send. Within minutes, I get an email from Tripit that it has received my itinerary and I can go to Tripit, look at the trips, click on the trip we're working on, and there is the hotel reservation. Notice it's not on top, it's not in order received, it's in order that we're going to have to be there. So this is how it keeps everything in order. I just love it. Now I'm gonna keep going here. I look through this itinerary and I see that there's something missing. So February 14, we are at Thalassa, then we go to the Lembe Resort and that is from the 14th to the 17th. Now on the 17th, we're supposed to get on a dive boat and stay on that boat until the 28th. And I would like that to show up here. We did not get that information in a standard email reservation confirmation. So I have to add it manually. You just click on add a plan. And then what kind? Activity, flight, lodging, car rental? I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it lodging because we are going to be living on board this boat. We'll be checking in on the 17th and we'll check out on the 28th. And the name of the boat is the MV Mermaid 1. And when I save that, it will get put in the right place. Tripit keeps it in order for me. 
I see the Thalassa, the Lemba, and there is the MV Mermaid 1 and tells me exactly when I need to be there. Now you can also see this on the phone app. Here is TripIt. There is that trip. And everything is right here. And I can drill down and get any more details I need. It's also available on my watch. Is that cool or what? All the details, including the one I just added, the mermaid. So that's how TripIt helps you keep your travel organized.